everyone, it's Misha. So I have a wig review for you today. I haven't done one of those for a long time. Um, and this one has just been sent to me by Hair You Wear, which are the um, manufacturers and distributors of Raquel Welch and a few other wigs. So this is Brave the Wave. Raquel Welch, Brave the Wave in glazed sand okay, so we have the standard open wefted cap but this is the memory cap generation three and i don't know if you can see these ones have like silicone coating so they are more secure on your head and also the longer you wear it because it's memory cap it sort of molds to your head uh, you have the adjustable velcro straps here, bendable ear tabs, lace front and partial monofilament. So um, by the way I've just filmed my Monday video which you will see tomorrow so everything I'm wearing including makeup will be under that video so watch it tomorrow this is just about the wig okay <laughs> um, and I was wearing different wig in that video so this is a brand new from Raquel Welch for the fall 2017 collection and um, this is not a heat defiant fiber which that's quite good because you know um, heat defiant fiber is much more delicate and tangles more whereas this one is more robust and this is my favorite color in the non-heat defiant fibers because you know I love my shaded biscuit but shaded biscuit only comes in the heat defiant fibers. I love this wig. I didn't think I would when I first got it out of the bag because I thought oh it's so curly but I adore it. So I would say that this wig is a bit like my editor's peak you know my favorite wavy Raquel Welch wig which I don't have anymore because my mom's stolen it from me and I can't get the other one till November because in my color they have sold out they won't be getting any I think till November so I've ordered one already <laughs> but I'm waiting for it so I think that this is very similar to that but obviously a bit shorter and the curls are a bit uh, more defined and and fuller and also you know um the gabor sweet talk which i reviewed in like a gray color and i've seen that on other people like on taz and i love the sweet talk but when i put it on myself it was a bit too short and the curls seem to to tame so i would say that this actually is a longer better version of sweet talk for me gabor sweet talk so let's have a look at the lace front i haven't adjusted it or anything i just got it out of the box so that's what it looks like straight from the box so there is the lace front you know Raquel it's got really good lace front and you always get the lighter hair near your hairline it's got partial monofilament which means you can only part it on this side so it gives you the look of natural scalp and you know that I am not a fan of partial monofilament wigs because they usually part it on the left and you know I like to part my hair on the right and if you try to part partial monofilament wing on the right it usually exposes all the wefts and stitching and you can really see it and that was the case with some other Raquel Welch wig that I had but this one I don't know if it's the curls I feel like it's got a bit of permatis it could be the permatis when I part it on this side they are you would have to look really close to see the wefts 
so I am really really pleasantly surprised I don't know if it's it might be the permatis I can see permatis in here the disguises um, the the weft so out of all the Raquel Welch wigs that I have that are partial monofilament I would say this one is the best I don't my partial monofilament when the wigs are rooted because then again the root will disguise the, the weft so but this one is perfect I cannot complain about it so as you can see it's got these gorgeous gorgeous um, curls they feel really really light I will show you that in a minute from all the sides so like I said I've done nothing to it it's got plenty of height and body because it has a bit of um, permatis and the curls sort of let me see if this is layered at all yeah it is a bit layered so the hair is not all one length but that's why you you have the curls high up as well so this is my front this is my left side This is the right side and here is the back. Really beautiful natural movement even though um, it is not 100% hand tight cup. The, the, I'm really really surprised how how well the curls move. You know you know the difference the hand tight cap has every individual hair sewn into it so it behaves more like your natural hair the movement is like your natural hair whereas um, open weft wigs they have the hair sewn in in wefts and you don't get maybe as natural movement but this I feel like it's really really good so my mum would love this one as well i'm not even gonna i'm not even going to show it to her because i know she will love it oh by the way this is my hair <laughs> it's all straight um it's because like i said i've just uh, filmed my monday video and i was wearing a straight wig and i pulled out my hair because you see my hair really matches that color well um so don't think that this is like stray straight hair from the wig is my own hair so i didn't bring a comb here but you know you can brush it down if you don't want it to be so um puffy and and curly i love big hair i should have been born in texas <laughs> um, but if you don't it is so easy to just brush it down but as soon as you shake it go you look like a lioness I love this wig this is I think this sort of length of hair and some body wave or curl suits me the best so yeah this is gonna be my another one of my favorite wigs I think Raquel Welch are my favorite wigs of all the wigs and a lot of it is down to the color color is so important to me because i can look so weird in a wrong color for my skin tone um i do love noriko wigs which are very affordable the fibers are amazing really amazing but i think when it comes to style the few styles that I, I like from Raquel Welch it would be Upstage, Editor's Peak um, and this one that's the one I'll, you will see me wearing tomorrow oh let me compare the colour actually because this one is um, I've got a clip in here still this one is True to Life Fibre and this is the Elite I, why can't I remember the name of this of this wig something elite I will put it in the description box but this is the shaded biscuit so as you can see they are similar this one's got obviously rooted that's what the shaded means um, 
but I would say this glade sand is a bit more golden um, it, it still has like the pale blondes but it's tiny bit golden but it's not yellow in any way it's it's a more neutral blonde I would say whereas this one um, is more ashy as you can see and I love this color yeah so that's that's the difference in in color but I feel the two colors suit me pretty good so I don't think I would style this wig much I don't think I would even clip it you know I like clipping my wigs to the side maybe a bit lower like this but the fringe falls in so nicely it doesn't fall in my eyes it's not annoying um, you could pin it up with few pins if you wanted to to look like this but I think this style is so easy and carefree and looks like you've spent ages on it that it doesn't really need much doing to it i just love it as it is um and of course if you thought that you really love the editor's peak but that wig is quite expensive because it is made out of true to life fiber and uh, then maybe go for this one because obviously this is a standard cup you the price will be much more affordable the color is pretty similar if you like the same color as me the shaded biscuit um, so yeah I think this is like a more affordable tiny bit shorter sister of editor's peak to be honest I've actually my last editor's peak I probably cut it to about that that length because I wore it quite a lot and the fibers went a bit matted so I've cut it a bit so it was around that that uh, length maybe just a, a bit longer I think originally the editor's peak is about that length um so um i am not sure if this style is available in the uk yet i know it is already available in some online stores in us so i will find you the links to those stores um but if this becomes available in uk it will be at afrostyling.com uh, i haven't found any other online store that sells all the Raquel Welch wigs whereas Afro Styling sells them all um, so yeah I will try to find maybe I will by the time I post this video today I might see if I can find it in UK but it is very very new it's just coming I think last week so um, yeah so tell me what you think about this one I really like it I can see myself wearing this one a lot and it's quite nice off the neck as well you know especially in the winter when you start wearing scarves and and um, coats with with big fair collars or whatever um, long hair long wig can be a bit troublesome and you can start also uh, you know have the friction against your collar or your scarf and and that's not good so this is just a lovely lovely length i think okay my lovely so this was my review of the raquel welch brave the wave wig in glazed sand yes <laughs> thank you very much for watching and i see you soon stay fabulous bye